I'm Kim Orleski, I'm the leading sales coach. And one of the biggest areas we often get conflicted with when we're in our sales cycle is the difference between the influencer and the decision maker. The decision maker is ultimately the person that you want to connect with the very first time you connect with your client. That's the person you send your cold call to. That's the person you send the cold email to. That's the person that will sign the check. The influencer, on the other hand, may be the person that you spend most of your sales cycle with. They're the person that's going to gather the information and run it up the chain. If you are positioning yourself the right way in your sales cycle, you will go after the decision maker as your very first approach. And then after that, get pushed down to the influencer, where you will spend majority of your time working with, collaborating with, and getting the information from, so you can provide them with the best solution. The influencer may pose as the decision maker, so be careful. You want to ensure that you're asking the right questions and lead qualification. Who else needs to be a part of this decision? When will we bring that information to him or her? How else will we be involving other individuals in this decision? We need to know who is going to be a part of that decision. And if they tell you that they are the only ones, guess what? Buyers are sometimes liars and we do not trust that because even if you are working with a small business, the owner will typically talk with their spouse. The decision maker will still confer with an influencer even if they're not part of the decision. The influencer might try to appear as the decision maker. Lead qualify, lead qualify, lead qualify. Ask them every single time, who else have you already discussed this with? Who else will be involved in the decision? When will we be able to approach the uppers in order to be able to have this conversation? Don't get caught in the influencer posing as the decision maker process. Know where every party stands and you will be able to navigate your sales cycles much faster.